subscribe and solve this question. Factorize completely the expression x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared minus 49t squared. If you look at the expression, it doesn't look like the normal ones we know. Those ones that we could easily factorize. And you know, when they act completely, they want you to have a specific answer. Even though we have four terms here, we have x squared plus x squared, negative six x squared plus nine y squared, negative forty nine t squared. Um, we don't have clear common factors we could use, but there is something we can do. This is negative six x squared. We'll open it up. This will be the same as x squared minus 3xy minus 3xy plus 9y squared minus 49t squared. It is always good for any mathematics student to solve a lot of questions. In solving a lot of questions, we come across questions you've never seen. And learning how to solve these questions will pay for any kind of exams. This is a type of question that if you've not seen similar one before, it will be very difficult for you to, to, to do. I've not done anything. I've only replaced the negative six SY with with uh, negative three xy and negative three xy. Negative three xy minus three xy gives you negative six xy. So I've not done anything, but I've just replaced the negative six xy with negative three xy, negative three xy. Now I can work on the the first four terms, the positive x squared negative 3xy, negative 3xy, and then positive 9y squared. When I factorize the first two terms, x squared minus 3xy, the common term or the common um, factor is x. So I brought x out. X is here, x is here. So I brought x out. Now x times what will be x squared? X times x will be x squared, okay? And x times what will be negative 3 xy. It is negative 3 y. Now, when you found the bracket, we finish the first two terms. We are going to the next two terms. When you had in the bracket, pick the same thing and leave small space and write the same thing, x and c y. Whenever we're asked to factor this completely, um, this kind of thing is expected to appear. So I pick the same x and three y here and left space here. Now with this next two terms, what will you use to multiply the x to be negative three x y? Negative three y. And this should work out automatically, this one. Negative 3y times negative 3y, that will be positive 9y squared, and that works perfectly. Now, with the negative or minus 49t squared, we'll repeat the same thing. What you see in front of the brackets, you put them together, they are positive x here and they are negative 3y here. Now what we have in brackets, they are the same, so we just pick one, don't leave any space here. So we have x minus 3y, we just pick one of it, there are two, we just pick one of it. So we've been able to factorize the first four terms completely.
but we still have the negative 49 t squared attached to it. Now, when you look at this closely, you realize that this x minus 3y is the same as x minus 3y here. So this is the same as x minus 3y must find itself k squared. Then you can bring the minus 14 19 squared here. Now what you see here, we are seeing difference of two squares here. Difference of two squares. Difference of two numbers that are squared. Look at this. We have this first number to be x minus 3y squared. And here we have um, 7 squared t squared, which is the same as x minus 3y squared minus 7 t squared. Now the difference of two squares is clearly showing here. There's a difference and these are two numbers that are squared. What we have difference of two squares we can write it as this the first number plus the second number what's find the first number and the second number and that's exactly what we are going to do here our first number is going to be x minus 3y and our second number is going to be 17 so in the first uh, brackets we are going to add the first and the second number so the first number is x minus 3y x minus 3y and the second number is 17 so we're going to add the x minus 3y and um, the 17 so this one when i continue is going to be x that the first one x minus 3y plus the second number multiplying multiplying i want to put them together it's looking x plus 3y plus 17 multiplying the first number minus the second one. So the first one was adding the second one from subtracting. So the first number minus the second number. So finally, finally. We are able to factorize completely 